Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we are painting the Sardar, which is one of the characters for the new Sorcerer King's army in Conquest The Last Argument of Kings. Had a lot of fun with this model, and it turned out really cool, so let's go ahead and dive into this tutorial. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Ultra Matte Slate Paint Plus Primer from rust -Oleum, but you could use any gray primer that you'd like. Our first step in this project is to take Dawnstone, and we're going to use this as the base color for the pants on our model. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to do a light wash over the pants using Seraphim Sepia, and we're diluting this down just a little bit. After we've allowed that shade paint to dry completely, we're going to take Dawnstone and layer this back over the pants, focusing on painting this on the wrinkles and curves, and leaving the shade paint in the recesses. Next, we're going to take Administratum Gray, and we're going to layer this over the pants, but only in the spots where the light would hit on the pants. And for the sake of this particular model, I've just assumed that the light is directly above the miniature. Now that we're done with the pants, it's time to work on the skin on this model. We're going to base coat the skin using Warm Brown from Pro Acryl. Once we're happy with that base coat, we're going to take Bugman's Glow and layer this over the skin, focusing on all the raised surfaces, all the curves of the muscles, and we're leaving the darker brown in the recesses. We're then going to take Advanced Flesh Tone from Pro Acryl and do another layer of highlighting on the skin, this time focusing on the sharpest ridges and the details that we want to accent the most on the model. Next, we're going to paint the robes or gambeson on the model. We're going to use Dark Magenta from Pro Acryl as our base color. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to take Karaberg Crimson and do a heavy wash of this over the magenta clothing. After we've allowed that shade paint to dry completely, we're going to take Screamer Pink and we're going to layer this over the wrinkles and curves on the fabric. Next we're going to do another layer of highlighting, this time with a mixture of one part Screamer Pink and one part Pink Horror. We're going to do one final layer of highlighting on the fabric using Pink Horror, and this time we're focusing on the most raised surfaces on the fabric. Now that we're done with the pink fabric, we're going to take Lead Belcher and use this as the base color for the scale mail armor on the model. We're going to shade the scale mail using Contrast Basiliconum Gray, and if you want, you can thin this down a little bit with water so that it doesn't darken down the armor quite as much. While that contrast paint is drying, we're going to take Light Bronze from Pro Acryl and use this as the base color for all the plate armor on the model. We're going to shade all of the plate armor on the model using Seraphim Sepia. You can go as heavy as you'd like with this shade, but it will turn the armor more brown the heavier you go. While that shade paint is drying, we're going to go back to the scale mail on the model. We're going to take Stormhost Silver and use this to highlight the scales on the model. And we're treating this similar to a dry brush, but we're using a fine detail brush so that we have a little bit more control over where the paint ends up. Moving back to our plate armor, we're going to take light bronze again, and we're going to layer this back over the flat surfaces of the armor.
It's now time to work on the cape on the model. We're going to use Averland Sunset as the base coat for our cape. Once we've finished applying the base coat, we're going to shade the cape using Cassandora Yellow. After that shade paint has dried completely, we're going to take Averlin Sunset again and we're going to layer this back over the wrinkles and curves of the fabric, but we're making sure to leave the recesses darker. Next, we're going to take a mixture of one part Averlin Sunset and one part Uriel Yellow. We're going to, once again, layer this over the wrinkles and curves of the fabric, but we're focusing on the sharper ridges. We're not painting all the way up to the edge of where we painted with the previous layer. All that's left on this model now is to paint the leather parts. So we're going to base the boots and any leather straps on the model using Leather Brown from Vallejo. Our final step on this project is to take Agrax Earthshade and use this to wash the leather parts on the model. Now if you wanted to, you could go and highlight the edges with a lighter brown afterwards, but you don't have to because it's a pretty small detail on this particular model. And with that, we've finished painting the Sardar for our Sorcerer King's army. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to like it, and then subscribe to the channel so you can see future videos I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make these videos possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.